I had a call from my old boss that played against sports uh, about a week ago. She said a gentleman came in with some antique tennis rackets uh, that he wanted to sell to her, but you know they don't really buy the antique collectible type stuff. So she referred him to me and uh, sent me some pictures of them. And I said, yeah, those are definitely antique. Um, I would you know, be very interested in those. So I called him, really nice guy. Um, and you know, he, he, I was like, you know, they'd probably be a good fit for my auction website. Um, so we're going that route. I just picked them up and they are cool. This is a NJ Magnin service racket. Very, very old. Um, I think these are about 100 years old. I did a little bit of research on them. This is a Spalding Geneva racket. Very cool. Definitely have some age to them, but I think uh, I think they'll do pretty well, especially uh, if we get the right bidders looking at them. Brought my uh, tuner from home. I need to tune up these guitars before uh, people preview them because when they come in and you know play them and everything, I want them to be tuned. And this is a Snark super tight tuner. The way these work is they actually clamp onto the head of the guitar and it feels the vibration and that's how you tune it. It's pretty cool here. I'll show you guys. So that's my E string. So when I get it right in the middle there, that's how I know it's in tune. Here's my A string. It looks like it's a little low. There we go. All right. D string. And this is only going off the vibrations. This That tuner is not hearing the notes at all. Which is nice because... If you ever use a tuner that just has a microphone, any kind of interruption can kind of throw it off, like talking or noise, but these don't get thrown off. Looks like a B is already in, eh, a little bit flat. There's the B, and there's my high E. All right, should be in tune now. Not too bad. Yep. Yep. That sounds like crap. Sorry guys, I'm a bit rusty. This tuner though, these are only about 20 bucks. So any guitar players out there, I would highly recommend these things. Very handy. We are going to the Bunbury Music Festival today. Kind of like an anniversary celebration. Yep. Who else is gonna be here? McLovin's, uh, Jack White. Coheed Cambria. <laughs> Cambria. Whatever, Coheed and <laughs> something. Dropkick Murphy's uh, Manchester Orchestra starts to lie. Lots it's gonna of be fun. Yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful day. The flying pigs.
for sure. Heads up right here. We just saw Black Pistol Fire. We're going to see Manchester Orchestra. Woo! fun uh, made for a really long day it's actually a three-day festival we only went to one day i can't imagine going to all three days yesterday kicked my butt as it was uh but it was awesome a lot of really great bands if you guys liked any of the music that i put in uh, i'll put a list of all the bands that i showed in this video quick programming note uh for our show that i do with lonnie this week in reselling um we are not going to be doing it on Thursday. Uh, we're both going to be traveling to Tennessee for the Highway 70 sale. Uh, so if any of you guys are down, going to be down in that area, um, check out the Facebook group for This Week in Reselling because we're going to be doing dinner Friday and Saturday. I think we've already picked the places. So uh, just check that out. We would love to meet you guys. Um, but yeah, since we're traveling, we're not going to have internet where we're staying. It's just kind of like this little hole in the ground, literally hole in the ground, like Hobbit Hole place, and they don't have internet or anything. So... No show Thursday, but we will be doing some live streaming on Friday, probably Saturday too. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll take as much video as we can for you guys. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.